Good morning, Marilyn. Here's a look at our current temperatures. Right now, we're sitting in the upper 50s near the state border. 59 degrees, though, down in Essex. 66 in Annapolis. And good morning, Westminster. You guys are holding strong to 61 degrees. There is some patchy fog out there that's starting to develop, but it's in very isolated locations. So north and west of the I-95 corridor, right around Westminster, mainly out towards Frederick County. That's where we're seeing some limited visibilities this morning and across northern Cecil and even Hartford counties. So the kids may be seeing that as they head out to the bus stop, but they will also notice that it is feeling pretty cool out there, but not too bad. The light jacket is the way to go this morning. They will want to have lunch outdoors if that's possible, if the teacher lets them and even extending the recess once again, because today it is going to feel very pleasant outside. Temperatures are going to hit the low to mid 80s, very similar to yesterday. We actually hit a temperature of 85 degrees yesterday afternoon. We're going to be right around that today with a mixture of sun and clouds. So the sunshine will be shining very bright today, tomorrow, and then it'll start to fade a little bit later this week. But we can actually thank this area of high pressure. That's keeping us dry. That's giving us this nice dry stretch of weather and mainly clear skies out there this morning. Dealing with a mixture of sun and clouds across the state of Maryland heading into the afternoon, and that's going to keep our skies mainly clear as high pressure kind of meanders around the mid-Atlantic region overnight into your Wednesday. So temperatures this evening evening are expected to drop off into the 50s, even the lower 60s. Heading into your Thursday, we'll see a little bit more in the way of cloud cover as we do have an area of low pressure, mainly that's set up right now over the upper portions of the Midwest. This is actually going to advance eastward. This is going to bring us our next best chance for some showers. It's going to push this area of high pressure farther offshore, allowing rain and even a few isolated rumbles of thunder to move through the area heading into your Friday afternoon. So so the timing of this cold front is still a little bit uncertain as of right now, but it looks like the better chance for rain occurs on Saturday as that cold front sweeps through the region. So Saturday looking a little bit soggy, a little bit damp, and that's going to have a big impact on our temperatures. But it looks like Sunday we start to dry things out for the back half of the weekend. Your seven day forecast 85 degrees today, sunny and warm, very pleasant out there. Mid 80s for tomorrow as well with ample sunshine back into the 70s, nearing average for this time of year heading into your Friday with the chance for a few afternoon and evening rain showers. Rain becomes a little bit heavier and more widespread in nature on Saturday and our winds pick up behind that cold front as we dry conditions out on Sunday and Monday with highs back in the 60s.